Hey second grade, it's Mrs. Bierman here. We're moving on to another project this week and this is going to be all about fall and the leaves that are starting to fall and have been falling off of the trees. So today I would like you to go outside and gather, I don't know, somewhere between five and ten different leaves. So I went outside here at Wheatsport Elementary and I just found some different sizes, some different shapes from the trees that are around here. So you can go ahead and round up about five leaves or more. And then when you come back inside, you're going to need a white piece of paper and a peeled black crayon. So I just have a little like random black crayon that has no paper on it. And then you'll need a box of crayons that have most of the colors in them for this. The last part, we will use some watercolor paint and I will show you that in another video. So once you have those five to 10 leaves gathered, you're going to get your piece of paper ready. Now, since we're going to be using watercolor paper, I suggest getting the paper that I put, I put in your art kit that I sent home. So this is a heavier nine by 12 piece of paper. But if you just have a piece of computer paper, that works too. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find the back side of the leaf. Now it's the side where I can really feel those veins coming through. And we're going to do a crayon rubbing of the back side of the leaves. So I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to put it right underneath my piece of paper. And I should be able to still feel where that is on my paper. And then I'm going to take my little black crayon and I'm going to use the crayon on its edge or on its side and I'm going to go ahead and rub all the way up. And I'm going slow because I wanna make sure I'm only getting that leaf shape in there. So as I continue to do this, I'm noticing that maybe a piece of computer paper might be better. So I can still see my leaf here, but I do have to press rather hard for that. If I use a piece of computer paper instead, I won't have to press as hard and I'll be able to see that whole leaf through my paper. So now I'm pressing much gentler and I still see that leaf shape coming through. So if you already started with a heavy piece of paper and you can see your leaf just fine, continue with it. If you have a piece of computer paper handy, maybe you wanna try both and see how it works for you. You just wanna be able to see those vein lines and the edge of the leaf, okay? So I'm gonna put that one aside and I'm gonna grab another leaf. And again, I'm gonna to try to find the back side. This one I can see all the veins, but this one I can feel that major vein through the middle there. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm going to put it underneath my paper and I'm trying to place it so I know it won't overlap with my first leaf. And when I press lightly, I should see that leaf shape coming through. And I'm doing the stem as well. And there, I have that whole leaf shape there. I'm gonna keep doing that until most of my paper is filled up. So I have this maple leaf. I'm going to put this under my paper as well. I don't want it to overlap. I can feel it under there. I'm not gonna let my paper move. I'm holding it down. And when I go on top of the leaf, I should have a nice leaf rubbing showing through where I can see all of the veins. There's the stem, making sure I can see the outside of the leaf also. So I'm trying to not to do too much around the outside edge of the leaf, okay? I can probably fit one or two more here. Let me see if I can do another quick one. Here's a smaller leaf, put that there. And then if you really did get a whole bunch of different sizes, if you do have one smaller, which I do, if I do have a smaller leaf, I can even place that there. There, 
there we go. So now my paper is pretty much all filled up with leaf rubbings. And that is step number one. I will be back to show you step number two.